Hello there Pixel Pushers, it's Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Now this time we're going to get into the sort of meat and potatoes of editing an image. Uh, we've, we, you can see the image on screen that I've already um, made it. just a slight adjustment. So it's really about some quick tips on how to make an image pop just to boost its contrast, boost its color, color and also give it a bit of a moody uh, um, outlook depending on obviously the, the subject matter. Uh, we've got some dark clouds looming but bright sunlight as well, lovely autumn colors. So it's a, a perfect picture and blue skies, a perfect picture to really make it pop just by doing a couple of very simple things. You can see on the right hand side, all I've done is there's my original background image. I've duplicated it and then I've um, disabled the, the background image just in case we need to uh, go back to that and duplicate it again. But uh, we don't probably won't need to. Um, and then on the uh, duplicate, we've applied a, a curves adjustment and I will go through that in a moment. But then we've opted to block out part of the curves adjustment in a given area in this area in the bottom right because I wanted to make that cloud moodier than it was without making the bottom corner which is also a little bit in the shadows to making it more um, uh, you know making it even darker and I didn't want to do that uh, so let's just get into it and I'll go through it and I'll show you this won't take very long but it's a really good example of showing you how you can uh, change the look of a, a, a good photograph just by applying uh, an adjustment layer and then selectively blocking that remember black blocks white reveals and we here we can see i've painted with uh, black or, or, or a shade of gray um, with a, just a standard brush but we'll go into that so let's just delete these layers we'll delete that duplicate as well oops let's switch that on so that's our starting point okay so in fact let's just go back to the beginning that's our starting point so first of all always a good practice to duplicate the layer okay once we've duplicated it just um, make the uh, original layer invisible and uh, just so that um, we, we know we're only affecting the duplicate first thing we want to do is go to the adjustments palette here and we'll apply a curves adjustment. Don't worry about which one, just the default one for now. And really we want to apply, in this case, a typical S curve, but you can apply whatever suits your image. Now, I could just apply it here because you, you can see what's happening to the, the clouds here. I don't particularly want to lose the brightness of the blocks of flats so um, of the building so if we we'll make that quite moody but you can notice that it's also making this bottom right hand moody so let's just actually exaggerate that a bit more um, and we'll we'll say we're happy with that if we go back to the layers palette you can see that we've applied a curves adjustment on top of the image it's lovely it brings out the lovely autumn colors but it's also really exaggerates that moodiness without losing the blue sky but it's made it a bit too dark here okay so as long as that layer the curves adjustment which there's already a mask there um, uh, we, we can apply use the paintbrush uh, from the layers palette you can see that under my paintbrush it's of a certain size but you can change the size by using the square bracket keys that that brush you can see you can see a preview through it and what that's essentially doing is if I'm painting with black, which is the swatch that I've got selected, it will reveal the color underneath it. Okay, take off the wet edges. We don't want wet edges. Let's just undo that. Always check there because sometimes when you select the paintbrush, if you've used it earlier on, it gives you wet edges. That's like um, painting with a paintbrush. Um, for like give a watercolor effect and that isn't always appropriate for uh, images when you're painting onto a mask okay so if I was to do that that's basically bringing that part of the image back to its original state before we put the curves adjustment on okay now I don't want to change that there what I want to do is change it down here okay so let's just 
go back to here and um before i do that it's always worth exploring the blend modes so at the top here what this is saying is that the curves adjustment has a normal blend mode a non-adjusted blend mode between the curves adjustment layer and the image itself but if you use one of the drop down menus uh, in the drop down menu choose one of the options and it's just worth until you get used to what categories do what to an image essentially these top few five they darken the image or parts of an image the next group they lighten parts of an image um, and then the others are a combination of the two um, we won't go down to the the ones down the bottom for now so it's really a question of well, what's more dramatic or what's appropriate to the image and because I want to brighten those colors and emphasize those colors darker color I quite like so click on darker color so we've applied a, a curves adjustment we've um, changed the blend mode and now I don't quite like the way it's making this corner a bit too dark but I like the dark nature of the clouds in the top left so paintbrush selected painting with black choose an appropriate brush um, a nice um, feathered edge um, make sure the wet edge is isn't ticked at the top there and then oh and also check the hardness of the brush the flow and the opacity if you have it at 100% opacity 100% flow and 100% 100% hardness what you'll get is you might get um, you might be able to see where the brush strokes are so you really need to reduce the hardness of the edge of the brush which is right down to 25% the flow is how much of a stroke can you see and the opacity obviously is how much do you reveal the underneath in one stroke so bring them all down try what works um, and then literally just you don't need to be too precise about where you paint but do it loosely like this roughly I don't want to go right up to the top because it's not too dark up there I don't want to go over the sky it's really just this part here okay and you can see there on the um, on, on the mask there on the curves adjustment by painting in black in this area here to lighten that up and we'll see the before and after that's the original image and that's the image with a bit of pop to it so the colors are more pronounced the clouds are more pronounced without sacrificing the um, uh, the darker areas down here so there we go give that a go there'll be more coming along uh, along these lines different videos short ones like this uh, around about making adjustments just to make an image pop so there'll be a series of three making your image pop of which this is the first one thank you for watching and uh, give us some comments and any feedback would be greatly appreciated uh, and of course um, any uh, likes of the video or subscriptions if you haven't already subscribed will really help the channel as well and give me more encouragement to make more more videos and certainly your comments really help and i'll try and answer each each and every one of them if i possibly can thank you very much for watching